guys, it is Sunday the 23rd of December. So it's now, what time is it? About half past one. I've just had a bit of a lazy, chilled out morning today. I'll show you the garden. It's a miserable, damp day here in the UK. Thought it would be. So today is more of a chill out day. I got all of my cleaning done over the last couple of days for the house. So everything's nice and clean. So today I need to wrap presents, including Daisy's, who's just joined me. Say hi, Daz. Say hi. She's still got a little, little neckerchief on. I'm gonna get, I've got some fabric upstairs and a set of pink and shears, because these have been made really simply. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna make her some little neckerchiefs. I think they're so cute, they look really nice on her. So yeah, so today I am going to wrap presents, as I said, and also bake some mince pies. So I'm just going to get back onto that and uh, and then I'm going to just chill out and stage, put my feet up this afternoon and relax really because I think uh, all in all we're about ready for the big day aren't we? We're ready, we're ready for Christmas, yes we are. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit, bye for now. So I was staying in my stitch with me about the Black Friday sales and how I took advantage of them this year and I did, especially when I bought my parents presents. So I'm just going to show you what I got them. So I got them a Google Home Hub to, to go in the house wherever they want it. I've got one here in the kitchen and I find it so useful for things like setting timers, checking on the weather, keeping a shopping list going, all sorts of different things. It's It'll tell you the weather, it'll tell you whether you need an umbrella, how well the chances are of rain, you know, all of those really useful things. So I thought they might find that helpful. I mean, you can pretty much ask it anything and it will it'll give you a response. And because they like mine so much, I also got them a Tassimo machine as well. So this is the Tassimo Vivi 2, the one that I have in white. Um, the, they, they really enjoy the drinks, so my dad likes the um, the Bailey's Macchiato, mum likes the latte coffee and the hot chocolate as well. So with that in mind, I also got them four packs of the Tassimo um, little pods as well, so I got them two of the hot chocolate. So recently Tesco have had these on offer, so I took advantage of the offer, so I got them two of the chocolates. And then I got my dad his Bailey's Macchiato and my mum her Costa Latte as well. So I think they'll they'll like those gifts. So hopefully they're not going to watch this upload and <laughs> see what they've got. Because these are surprises and they don't know they're getting these. Um, I mean, they might have an idea about the Tassimo, but they certainly don't know about the Google Home Hub. And so, yeah, I'd, I'd rather keep it that way. And then, yeah, I'm going to get these wrapped. I'm going to make myself a coffee, get these ones wrapped. And then I'm going to go ahead and get Daisy's out of the boot of the car and, and put her in the her basket. I mean, I know she doesn't like know it's Christmas, but she'll go crazy if she can smell some of the treats. I want to show you what I've got her, um, but I will catch you in a little while. Take care for now. Bye. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me The snow is falling down And the storm is on its way But as long as you're around Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you Well they're all wrapped, they're in a nice little sort of blue and silver theme so they're pretty and then in the pack there was this sort of satin ribbon which I wouldn't normally mess around with but I mean this blue one in particular looks a bit bare as does this. I mean, I'm not going to do anything extra with that one because I think the wrapping paper is enough for that. But I'm going to see if I can do something with the satin ribbon on the other boxes. I've longed for this moment to have you for myself in a 
cabin out of nowhere Just us and no one else I've decorated everything Till we're perfect for this week Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for you and me Another year went by But the difference this time Is that ever since July Happier than I have ever been It's safe to say that my love for you is true Now that's the best present anybody could ever want under their tree Isn't it? Just look at that little one there So Daisy was taken to laying on the little um, tree skirt That I got I think she thinks it's a bit like her bed isn't it? Are you tired? Daisy's tired so these baubles here I got from Asda at home for £5 for, I think there's 36 of them in there. So they are going on the tree later. They've been sitting there for about 10 days, waiting to be strung to go on the tree. And that is my next job, is to get this bald tree <laughs> filled up a little bit more. So I'll be doing that later. But I have done this with the present. So I think that looks a little bit fancier than it did. And I'm going to attach my label just on the top there. So I'm going to do a blue ribbon on the other box um, just to add a little bit more interest. As I said, I wouldn't normally do this, but it was in the gift wrapping kit that I got. So might as well use it. So I'll get the other one wrapped and I'll show you how they look. There we go. All wrapped, bowed up, labels on. They look a lot nicer than my usual <laughs> functional wrapping offering. So yeah, so my parents have, have done much better this year in terms of the wrapping which had it not been in for the gift not been in the gift wrapping set I probably wouldn't have done but anyway they look quite pretty don't they so now we're on to Daisy's stash so Daisy's birthday is on the 6th of January so last year and, and Poppy's birthday all was on the 1st of December so they all fall close to Christmas so last year I got Daisy her presents but picked up something for her birthday so I need to decide what I'm going to leave out and wrap for the 6th of um, January as well. So she's not gonna get all of this on the day. I think one of the toys, one of the plushies will be being kept. So the first thing I got her was this sort of Kong knot toy. The thing with Daisy is she's very small and dainty, but she's rough with her toys. She's got teeth like little razors and she literally rips the faces and the stuff in out of her toys and off her toys. She is so unbelievably rough with her toys. So this is sturdy. This is another Kong toy. It's really cute, like little little dinosaur um, dragon. Actually, it's a dragon. So it's it, it feels it feels lovely. And obviously, all of these squeak. I'm not going to squeak because I've put I've put there in a bed. So there's the plushies. I don't think I've got her any more plushies. I did. There's some stuff for the birds here. So the birds, I've got some chew sticks. They always get a tree. And I've also, not from Pets at Home, but from online, I wanted to show you. I've got them a pinata to go in each of their cages. They love the pinatas, so they're gonna get a treat and a pinata on Christmas day. I don't wrap it up for the birds. I did one year, and there was such a commotion within the cage about what this thing was. Um, they just didn't get the concept of wrapping paper. I thought they might have like pecked at the wrapping paper to get what was underneath. They didn't. I've got this little Christmas pudding because you, you've got to have a Christmas pudding, haven't you? And then we're on to, I think, the foodie type stuff. So she's got some Christmas doggy chocolate. We've got her some chalk and custard flavoured donut shapes. So some treats. She has got, now this will have to be a Christmas one. So there's a wreath of little doggy bones in there. So these are 28 um, biscuits in there. So that's gonna have to go for Christmas, that one. You love this, I love this. Look at that. Porsecco. <laughs> so she has got, um, it's wine for cats and dogs, basically. So she's got a um, a house white. What is this? What does it say here? A pet house white, and a pet house. Is that a a rosé? So pet house 
white and a pet house rosé prosecco. So we'll um, we'll see what she makes of that on Christmas Day. I'm sure I'll put a bit of that in her food bowl for us. So obviously that's a Christmas one. She's gonna have to have that at Christmas. I got her some rawhide little Christmassy bones, which again that will have to be Christmas. And then these biscuits are really nice these assortments biscuits if you've not had these from the pets at home then i would really recommend them they're so nice to smell like human biscuits I, I mean i have obviously as you do i have tasted a little bit of it they're nice they're not as sweet as like cookies for for human consumption but they are they are really really nice so i'm gonna have to decide what i keep out and um and what i give her for christmas now so um yeah let's do some wrapping thought about it, I'm going to give her the dragon, the um, biscuits and, the, and those biscuits for her birthday in January and the rest of it. I'm going to put together in um, sort of a gift wrapped collection for her and yeah, they'll be her little gifts. So I'm going to get those wrapped now. There we are, a little pile for Christmas and a little pile for birthday. I don't think Daisy will mind the fact that her birthday presents are wrapped in Christmas wrapping, will she? But yeah, I've used a thinner wrapping paper, so hopefully this year she might tear into them. We had to help her quite a bit last year, but she was still, she was still only a pup, so she might get the, the gist of it this year. So I'm gonna go and hide these from her. I'm gonna clean up the wrapping mess, and then I'm gonna stick and thread these extra baubles onto my tree, and then we're gonna get busy with some baking. So I'll catch you in a little while. on the tree so it's looking a lot fuller than it did a lot more full should I say than it did however I still feel as though it could have taken more <laughs> so next year I will have to get myself an extra pack of baubles for this tree but it looks a whole lot better than it did there's a bit of randomness going on there isn't there that I'll have to rearrange in a, in a wee while anyway I'll catch you soon take care bye Look at this one in my seat. Do you want my cushion? Well, you're lethargic today. I don't think you're 100%, are you? Mm. We had a really long walk yesterday and I don't think... I don't think Daisy uh, has recovered, have you? <laughs> oh, little bean. Oh dear. Are you tired? Is mummy going to come and sit next to you? I am. I'm so gorgeous. Oh, here we are. Daisy's rolled over for a belly rub. Oh, 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 so Daisy. Rolled a little too far. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I wasn't there to catch you this time, was I? Poor Daisy. So the kitchen's all clean. And um, I just thought while the pastry's cooling in the fridge, I would come. Gosh, sorry, Daisy's just headbutted the phone. I would show you my progress as to where I'm at on my um, steam heart. So I'm gonna just work a little bit more in and around this area. I'm sort of working down here at the minute. So I just think I'll follow on with the, the color that I'm on there and, um, and pick that up. So her wing kicks in around here. So I'll be moving into a few different shades. So 
probably about halfway to the page finish I think maybe slightly over because obviously I need to run down here I do need to start feathering in I don't know what possessed me to stop the page harsh there because I seem to get lines on my stitching when I do that so I won't be doing that again I don't know why I've done that but um yeah I'm just going to continue for now and then I'll be going and rolling some pastry in a little while I'll catch you in a bit there are there are the fruits of my labor um they're all for my parents um, I'm going to put them in a box as they cool down uh, in a bit and those will be for me for my freezer. I wish I could tell you how amazing they smell. I wish we had like smell TV right now. My whole house smells of baking. Um, yeah, it's it's glorious. Obviously I've had, I have partaken of mince pie and some cream. I decided to have that instead of dinner. It's now eight o'clock so <laughs> I'll not be eating anything else now. So um so yeah, I mean, I can justify it in my own head having not had dinner. But yeah, I just thought I'd share those lovelies with you. So that's today done. Not a lot of relaxation really by the time I had wrapped. Baked, baking took such a long time. It took a lot out of the day. Um, so I've only really done an hour, an hour of stitching. So I am gonna go and see how much footage I've got from today, see if it's worth uploading. So I may be saying goodbye for now, or, sorry, it's my memory stick <laughs> out of the camera, or I may be it's sort of running to, to Christmas Eve. I don't know, because obviously tomorrow I won't be doing an awful lot, but it'll just be more of a relaxation day, so I might not film tomorrow. But yeah, I'll either be seeing you you in like literally seconds or I will catch you probably just after Christmas so take care guys have a really good Christmas I'll catch it with you soon bye